That's the Emily's other thing. famous. <laughs> She's so famous. I only use one name, like Madonna or Cher. Oh, wait, my name's not a celebrity. Well, mm -hmm. Emily, still. Nope. Everybody knows Emily. My license plate does not say celebrity on it. Well, that would be weird. <laughs> What would your husband say I about got that? It, right? Your husband like, would be like, "What's this, that on your license plate?" I stole this car. I st <laughs> no one will know. So, so if you see a car driving around with my name on the license plate and, and white it's girl not with me, hair, right? right? Yeah. Be like, Emily's at it again. <laughs> I don't know how to. Oh my car gosh! All right, do y'all want to get to this now? Welcome to the table. Real conversations are rare these days, so when it comes to the hard stuff, it helps to have a place where we can all come together as a community and feel welcome. Morning, morning. Welcome. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to the table. So on today's show, we're going to have Letty. Yes. And it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about food pantries and mm -hmm. food banks. And I like to eat. And we all like to eat. Yeah. Which is interesting Very because pertinent. there are some people who millions of people, let me not even say some, millions of people who don't get the opportunity to eat. It's, it's not, it's just something that they have access to. And that, I, I've learned, is called food insecurity. So, and what's the, that's defined as, you know? Okay, so here it says, food insecurity means that a person doesn't know when or where they'll find their next meal. That is just scary. Sure, right. So, me. like in in regular people terms, that means like I'm gonna go home and have a snack after work. I've got food and I've got food in my fridge to go have that snack, or I'm gonna eat this for dinner because I'm gonna whip that up from my my cool food blog that I found and da 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 da. Some people don't have that. Yeah, I mean, that's it, hard. It, that's really hard. That is really hard. That messes your whole day up because that's the only thing you're thinking about. That would mess my day up. Yeah. So that's hard. Let's my because we like to eat. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> I mean, in, in the United States of America, who doesn't? Who that right. is true. <laughs> we do like to eat in this country. Yeah. Um. So how are things going with you? Oh, they're fine. Cool. I'm, Kids are doing good. Eating food, they're great. If my one child could live on dairy products and bananas, she probably would. I have my daughter will only eat carbs. She macaroni and cheese. She's twenty two. Oh. And Mine's she's still too. macaroni and cheese, cheese pizza, breadsticks. I mean, she's easy to feed, but I mean, it's like got to get some variety. Got to get some. She's working on it though. Mm -hmm. She is working on it. Get some Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Welcome to the table, everyone. We are so glad to have you guys with us. We we always are. We've got. I am Celebrity, and I'm here with. I'm Emily. And we, today, we have another amazing community person. Uh, you, you, if you watched the last one, you saw we had Laura. This time, we have Letty. So all our guests are going to have first names that start with L. Is that a qualifier? That, sure. No. <laughs> Don't be exclusive. I mean, that makes it a challenge to find guests. So if your name starts with L, us, give us a call. Us. Yeah, one, Email one, us. 1 800. 1 800, my name starts with L. So um, we have Letty, who runs the food pantry. Now, the food pantry actually has a name. What It's called the what? The Beaver Dam Community Food Pantry. Beaver Dam Community Food Pantry. And she is another very community minded, wonderful individual, and we are so happy to have you here today. Thank you. So, when when did you actually begin your work with the, the food pantry? I've been with the agency, Central Wisconsin Community Food Community Action Council, 
uh, for 21 years now. Wow. It's almost in the 90s. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> as old as my youngest daughter. Um, that is, that's actually awesome. And, and what do you like most about, what do you like most about the work? Being able to help someone, you know, um, seeing them leave with a smile, knowing that at night they're going to have something to feed their children or feed themselves or take something for lunch for work. Thoughts, questions. I don't know, if you can't eat, it's hard, right? Like life is hard and if you have to think about where's my next meal coming from or I don't have enough money to buy groceries, that's hard. So you make life a little bit easier for folks who, who might be struggling. So let's talk about that a little bit. So I'm talking about when life's hard and you don't know where your next meal's coming from, that's food insecurity, right? That like the technical insecurity. term is food insecurity. That is correct. Um, and also, you know, if a family is in need of rental assistance and they're struggling financially, a lot of times they'll forget to purchase food just because they want to pay a utility bill. Seniors, it might be medication. Um, so if we're able to assist them with their food, they have a little more money to put towards another need. Or um, if we assist them with rent, you know, that's more money for them to have for any other expenses that they may have. Sure. So what's the relationship between Central Wisconsin Community Action Council, CWCAC, and UMOS in Beaverdale? The difference is UMOS um, offers assistance to migrant workers, and Central Wisconsin Community Action Council offers assistance to everyone, uh, regardless if they're migrant or not. Um, UMOS unfortunately moved to a different location so we do not have a migrant office a united migrant opportunities office in uh, beaver dam the closest one is in watoma so they still have you can still kind of get services but all the staff people are all in watoma or some other place yes but if there's migrant uh, farmer worker the people here they can we can still connect, get connected. We but can maybe. still connect them to sure. UMOS, and we can offer them also assistance so they can get assistance if need be. Gotcha, okay. And there's still the, the, the apartments? The apartments are still in Beaver Dam. Sure, yes, sure. They, they still have the housing units. Yeah. Sure. So I know because we talk a lot about you know food and how, food insecurity and housing, and those are some of your basic needs, and it doesn't make sense to be completely separate. So the, you know, working right. together in collaboration makes a lot of sense. Yes, yeah. yes, it does. We have some questions from the community, which is awesome because we love to have our community involved with the show. Our first question for Letty this morning is from Carl. Hello, my name is Carl. I have a question. Does the food pantry offer assistance for senior citizens? Yes, the food pantry does offer uh, assistance for senior citizens. The um, Pantry is called the Beaver Dam Creative Food Pantry. The program is called the Stock Box Food Pantry. Uh, we serve individuals 60 and over, um, and the hours are between 9 and 2 on Mondays and Wednesdays. So, FIFO, you, what's the FIFO system? So it's the first in, first out. So when we receive our TFAP food, it's um, mark the cases are marked per the month that we receive it also with donations that come in we distribute it as it comes in so whatever we receive that day it's going out whatever we get later in the day you know we'll serve it on a Thursday but we always serve what we receive first to get into people's homes so there's okay. not like some squirrely back corner room that's just like oh we forgot no, about that no, part it's not no. the forgot about faux system <laughs> Five, no. four, five, four, three, two, yes. one. Right. Yes. Get out the door. Five, four, right. three, two, one. Right. Where do you guys actually get your food from? And we don't need all the details of all of the programs because there's a lot of programs. I want to know the name of the farmer. Uh, 
Uh, that's too specific. And that's what I would make you. you. What? <laughs> but there's lots of places you get food from. Can you that talk a little true. bit about that? So our pantry, we do receive the government uh, program TFAP, which is the Emergency Food Assistance Program. Um, and that's where we receive a lot of our canned goods, um, protein, cereal. You know, we get a lot of that from there. But also, we can purchase at 18 cents a pound um, at Second Harvest. And what's Second Harvest? Is that the food it's, bank it's, that, that it's runs out of Madison. the... Madison. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's also the one that does the once a month mobile pantry in Beaver Dam, in Beaver Dam at Marine Park Technical. And if, so I'm, they're like an and if I am correct, the person that runs that, is her name starts with an L as well. Oh, shoot. Lana. Oh, great. <laughs> Can't wait to talk to her. It'll be good. No, but so so Second Harvest is a, a like an aggregator, if you want to use a big word. But like they pull food from all over the place, and then they can ship it back out to, right. to pantries. Pantries at 18 cents a pound. Which is a purchase. screaming deal. It is. So it the is. difference between a food bank and a food pantry is that a food bank actually serves the, uh, the larger entities, the pantries, and then a food pantry actually serves the people. Right. So if that you're ever right. on Jeopardy now, you know. Yes. <laughs> what is a food bank is the answer. <laughs> answer in the form of a question. In the form of a question. <laughs> okay. Right, so where else do you, so you've got TFAP, we've got Second Harvest. Can I just like grow food and donate it to you? Yes. Not me personally, we, like we, people want, we, I mean, if I wanted to, I could too. We do accept um, produce from farmers, from gardeners. Okay. And, and then? Local businesses and okay. um, just individuals will donate to the food pantry. Okay. Now, nice. can, do you, can I give cash money? You can. Okay. That's yes. very cool. Again, not me personally, but you all personally wow. might. I mean, I can too. Yeah, you could if I, you wanted to. I could. And. If you, you could if too. you watch the last show, you all know that Emily grows her food in poo. Uh, so that that's so you want her money. Lots of <laughs> lots of food is uses natural fertilizers to help it grow. Right? This is right. the life cycle. You learn this in it's fourth grade true. science. Class. So we have one more question from the community. And this one is from our friend Sammy. Hola Leti. Yo soy Samantha y te quería preguntar si hay alguna ayuda para renta para gente que lo necesita. Yes, there is assistance for people that need rent help. Um, it's called the WIRA program, which is the, rental, the Wisconsin Emergency Rental Assistance Program, which we can help with anyone in Dodge County. Um, right now they're running that program throughout the state. Um, we can assist with rent, back rent, up to 18 months in rent and uh, some utilities as well. And that's a really neat thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that you come to the Beaver Dam Pantry and you might have other things going on and you all can help with some of those other things. You're connected to a larger uh, multi-county entity yes. and have access to a lot of these programs which kind of, make, kind of makes it like a one-stop shop which is really great. That is, that is very true. Yeah, yes. yeah, because it, I mean, <laughs> Sometimes the, the, the network of services is a little confusing for yeah, folks. Absolutely. And there might be some acronyms that might not work out. So, right. like FIFO or FOMO or what was it again? <laughs> FIFO. FIFO. Oh, yes. Three, two, one. Right. <laughs> no, I got it. Okay. Yes. Right. But that, like, if you're having a hard time, like, the last thing you want to do is be like, and then I got to go to here, and then I got to go to here, right. and then I got to go to here. It's like, just can we. Can we find one spot that can get you all the help that you need in one spot? Yes. And you guys are that. You are that. Thank Which you. Is, yes, awesome. we do. I mean, we do serve all of these other programs as well. It's, it's amazing to have you with us. And your name starts with an L. And your name yes. starts with an L, so you, you know. fall under the show qualifications <laughs> to be on the show. Well, I'm glad I did fall into it. Yeah, thanks, Mom. It made yeah. it so much easier. Yeah. Yep. Um, so... Thank you. Thank you so much, Letty, for joining us and having this conversation so that we can talk about, you know, what it is and what we can do in this community to help people who are dealing with food insecurity and, and need rent assistance. 
um, and have or know older people who need food and where they can go to find those things. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thank you for what you do. Thank you. And we will see all of you next time at where, Emily? The table. We should say it in Spanish. Oh, La Mesa. La Mesa. La Mesa. La Mesa. She never okay. listens to me when I tell her the right <laughs> Spanish. Okay, so let me start that one again. Um, para 18 meses, si necesitan la asistencia, si están atrasados en el alquiler, le podemos um, pagar esa cantidad. Y si necesitan ayuda para meses adelante, le podemos asistir con tres. That's exactly what I was going to say. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I think I messed that one up too. <laughs> <laughs>